Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host, Dave, and today we're coming to you live from the heart of Barolo in the town of La Mora in the hamlet of Santa Maria. And we're being hosted by the Adaro family. And it's thrilling to be here. I wanted to tell you how much we appreciate it. One of the things that we've learned about the Adaro family is farming this particular land since 1878. This is the seventh generation of Aderos here on this land. They produce wines for virtually every single palate. What I mean is they have sweet wines like Moscato that are fabulous. They have a little bit of acid in the background, very well-rounded. They also produce a Riesling that's quite delicious, really fresh and uh, quite dry. Then on the red side, they go from Dolcetto, which has mass appeal, to Barbera, which is the wine of the people, to the king of all grapes, and that's Nebbiolo. So I'm here with Pietro Adero. It's a pleasure for me to have you here. Pietro. To have you here in La Marra, in the heart of the Barolo region. It's been thrilling to be here. Your seventh generation Adero to be working this land. Yes, what I am. What does that mean to you? And someone says not only the seventh, but also the best generation, <laughs> you know. But every generation says it. If you ask to the sixth, they will say the same. So I am the seventh generation, that's true, uh, of the Odero family who works here at the winery. We always been based here in La Morra, in the uh, Santa Maria hamlet. And, uh, you know, wine is our life. Wine is our culture, wine, we are living out of what the, the vineyard and the soil gives us. So it's not just work, it's really our culture and our tradition. Nebbiolo, as you said, is the most important variety for us. With Nebbiolo we do the, the king of wine and the wine for the kings, Don, uh, Barolo and Barbaresco. Mm -hmm. We are very traditional, very classic style, this means that we use just the big body, the big casks to age Nebbiolo, to have Barolo and to have Barbaresco, long maceration, traditional and classic style. With an eye on the future, actually, because as you can see, all our vineyards are farmed with the organic method. Behind us, we have a, a Bricco Chiesa. Chiesa means church. We have a beautiful church of Santa Maria on top of the hill. And out of this vineyard, we are producing the wine that represents the most our wine, Barolo Ozzi. Um, as I said, we have an eye on the future, we are organic, uh, we uh, have a new system to control, to strictly control the temperature during the vinification, during the, the fermentation. Uh, ours, uh, it's uh, unfortunately for me, a winery completely run by women. I say unfortunately because I'm the only man of the family who's working at the winery. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, th and that's something that I want to make sure the people tuning in know this is a wine this is a winery um, that actually has tremendous female roots yeah um, that's true this one you, your winemaker is female my mom yes your she mom is. exactly yeah. my cousin isabella is working with me at the winery or maybe i'm working with her that's even better <laughs> and uh, you know i said unfortunately but uh, actually i feel very lucky to work uh, with two women like my mom and my cousin because in my opinion the attention to details that women have it's uh, it's higher and so they are more precise and constant mm -hmm. that's why i'm learning a lot from them and uh, it's a pleasure and an honor for me to, to work with them and you know uh, as you said the the women's were always very important in our family you have to know that after the second world war when this region was actually really really poor uh, all the men were fighting in europe uh, in Germany, all around Europe, and just the women stayed here and kept the vineyards. So our tradition is alive now, especially thanks to the women after the Second World War. So women are our roots here. And I'm saying that not just because my mom is my boss, but <laughs> because I really, I really believe in that. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, that, that, that really one thing that we could feel from Adero from the time we walked in till now is the sense of family. Um, so what you're saying is absolutely genuine and it comes down and it comes through your wines in the pureness of them and, and just how fantastic they are. 
So when we think about the Barolo region, mm -hmm. one thing that's interesting is as you draw a line directly through Barolo, your family has plots or vineyards in lots of different areas on all different sides of the Barolo region. Yeah. And what's interesting is when you look left to right or north to south, you have different soil types. Do you want to talk for a minute about that's, those soil types? That's completely true. You know, the Barolo region, even if it looks big on the map, is not so big. It's uh, composed by 11 villages, and uh, it's actually not so big. If you can drive from one part to the, to the other side of the Barolo region in 15, 20 minutes. But actually, what amazed me the most about the Nebbiolo variety is, that really re is the variety that reflects the most of the place in which it's planted. That's why even from one hill to another, even if they are so close, a couple of hundred meters, the wines are completely different. And uh, we have this unique opportunity, thanks to my grandfather's generation, they had the vision and the strength to buy vineyards scattered in different places, in different villages, in the Barolo and in the Barbaresco region. Now we have this unique opportunity to vinify so many important vineyards which are close by, but actually the wines are completely different. So we are making so many different Barolos. Because our philosophy is to, you know, respect the soil and respect the, play, the, play, the, the place sorry, where um, the wine is coming from. My mom, who's the winemaker, likes to say, the wine must be the son of the winemaker or the daughter, because we were talking about women, so right. maybe, maybe the daughter of the winemaker and not the son of the cooper. So reflect the soil, reflect the vineyard, and we try to be as respectful as we can of the, all the natural elements where we are um, growing our, our vineyards. One of the things that were most impressive about touring your facility is, is just the large uh, barrels that you use to age the wine. Um, that truly the Nebbiolo or the Barbera or the Dolcetto, uh, it's the grape that's the star of the wine, not the wood itself. Yeah. It, it gives such a pure expression of the wine. So, Yeah, that's true. We are working with a couple of different coopers. One of them is from Austria and actually my mom with two other producers was one of the first who started to buy wood from him. And uh, uh, as you said, we try to don't do oaky wine, to don't produce wines that are uh, overwhelmed by an aggressive oak. That's why we like a lot the Austrian oak, the Slavonian and traditional oak of Piedmont in the big box. Not toasted, very gentle and not too aromatic. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you, I sure have enjoyed my visit to my your pleasure. vineyard. Thank you so much, Pietro, for Thank being you. our host. And I thank all of you folks for tuning in. And please tune in next time, and soon you'll know wine in no time.